volume based shoulder day. You are going to love this. I can barely even raise my arms up. <laughs> if you watched last week's chest video, which we'll post here, this is what we did afterwards. So beyond brutal chest day, then guess what we want to do? We want to follow that up with a volume based shoulder day. And big shocker. We did zero shoulder pressing. <laughs> All right, so first rotation here is gonna be a high cable reverse fly. It just smashes my rear delts on the cable crossover rack or a dual cable system. I'm doing 20 reps here, immediately followed by 15 to 20 reps of band pull aparts so with the orange band. I did four total rounds there, going up each set, really crushing my rear delts. Coming off of pecs, my shoulders honestly have a mild pump anyways, but this just pushes all that blood from my pecs into my rear delt, which as you know, is a staple in mountain dog training and something that I majorly believe in that most people are missing. I'm with that nasty alien hang off the back of my arm. And in order to do that, I have to smash my rear delts. So with these exercises, with the cable, what I'm thinking about here is staying tall, not extending at the elbow and driving with my wrist away from my body. This is gonna isolate that rear delt. I'm not using tons of weight, 20, 30, 40, and 50 were my work sets. And getting to 20 with 50 was no joke. It was, as you can see, I even had to hit five parcels at the end. So, and then immediately dropping those down, doing the band pull aparts, I'm just trying to explode, touch my collarbone with it. Once I start losing range of motion, I just keep going till I get to 20. So I hit partials at the end of that. Four rounds of that, and I'm telling you, my delts were freaking pumped. All right, next up, side laterals. Now, I know for some reason in the bodybuilding community, everyone began to throw tons of shade on the dumbbell side lateral. I love it. I don't care what anybody says. I love side laterals. I've always felt them. So what I want to do here is an ascending set and a descending set. So set number one, it's 10, 20s, 30s, and 40s. We rest two minutes, come back, run the rack backwards. So 40s, 30s, 20s, 10s. Now with reps there, I'm just smashing reps so I'll lose good form. And at the end there, with those thirds and fours, I'm getting a little bit more partials just to get through them. You have to fight, that's gonna challenge you mentally. But what I want you to think about is pay close attention to this form. My elbow is above my wrist. My chin is gonna be neutral and I'm not using trap. That's the biggest thing, guys. Don't think up with the side lateral. I wanna think out, away from my body. So if you watch that form, all the reps are perfect. peg deck. As you guys know, this is one of my absolute favorite exercises for rear delts. Only had 115 pounds on here because at this point, as I told you, my shoulders were, well, they were jacked up. So I want to, sh I'm shooting for 20 to 30 reps here and not every rep is a like, crazy long contraction. I contract as long as I can. And then when I start losing the ability to contract, I just keep going until I start hitting partials. So two sets there, that's all I needed. If you notice again, shoulders are down, traps are out of it. This is all rear delt for me. You have to really play around with the seat height to get everything in perfect alignment, meaning shoulder, elbow, wrist, should be a straight line. If you do that and then not overextend or extend at the elbow, this will be nothing but rear delt for you. So mind your form, watch what I'm doing, 
And I'm telling you, this is how you grow rear delts. All right, next exercise. Bottom half partials on the machine side lateral. Absolutely love this. I'm doing sets of 20 with 100 pounds on the stack. My arms are straight, my chin is neutral or up. And I'm thinking about just get them out about a third to half of the way and squeeze the bottom portion of my side delt. I know that sounds very ultra specific, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what gets me pumped because what I want is to get that tissue right above my brachialis to really like jut out. And that's what creates that cannonball look from the side when you do your front relax pose. And that's what I want to get better on my shoulders, which are one of my dominant body parts, but I feel like I can get that area even better by doing this exercise. Two sets, 20 reps, all I needed here. Last exercise today, Y raise. Two sets of the 25s, I'm trying to get 12 to 15 reps here. Let's just get a little bit of side, more side delt and some front delt to finish the day up. Because I didn't need any more rear at this point. <laughs> and since I gotta train heavy back tomorrow, I'm gonna get, I'll get some rear delt carryover on that. So not too concerned. I did three exercises for my rear delts. Now I wanna smash the side and a little bit of front delt. So two sets of 15, 12 to 15, somewhere in that rep range is gonna be perfect for me. What you wanna pay attention is finding the right angle of this bench, not letting your traps raise the weight, making your shoulders do it, and then just form a while with your hands, guys. It's as simple as that. Lead with the wrist, drive out, up, and your delts will be on freaking fire. Two sets, all I need, shoulders are absolutely smoked. All right, so there you have it. A little bit different setup and structure. We did a lot more exercise here today than we normally would. I know normally I've been doing nothing but supersets for shoulders. So today was more standalone outside of that first little superset to get a lot of blood in my rear delt. And I'm telling you, this destroyed my shoulder. We were in and out of the gym today, total chest and shoulders at 90 minutes. And that's filming and me talking. So very pleased with that. And if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Chris TV, train your shoulders right. Zero pressure.